Welcome back to my bathroom. This is episode eight of Is It <laughs> Grab you a Sodi. We've got some fun stuff today. We have this TikTok heatless curling set, a fabric hood dryer, and these honeypot lip, what is that? Lip mask. We're gonna try all this together and rate it one through 10. As always, none of this is sponsored. I bought this with my own money. So do your tithing. Click the bells button, subscribe so I can continue to buy these things to review on the internet in my bathroom. First up, we have this. This is a kitsch, 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 satin heatless curling set. This rod is $16 on Amazon and it's actually a number one seller. This apparently curls your hair with just using two sections and no heat. You can use it on damp or dry hair. We're gonna use damp hair. I got this off Amazon also. It's a continuous spray bottle. That's like that mister at the zoo. You ever go there? They have that big misting fan and like a bunch of animals at the food trough. We're all just sitting under it. All right, so we're gonna miss the hair today. I mean, look at this thing. You split this in half in the back, down the middle. This rod right here, you use one of these claw clips and do this. So it kind of anchors in there. Perfect. <coughs> that Dr. K really gets you going. Now we take sections of our hair and start wrapping this around. And if you're new here, this is a weave. This is not my hair, I'm a bald eagle. And then I think you just start adding hair in as you go down. Well, that's pretty easy. Wait, there's a piece all the way downtown. Try to make this smooth. And then with the satin scrunchie, do this. Wind it up. Okay. Hose are down, continuous hose. The girls I watched use this on TikTok, use it on dry hair and slept in it. Not me, y'all. Mm -mm, not me. I'm not wearing this to bed. Y'all should see my nighttime routine. It is disgusting. I now added mouth tape. So I've got my retainer in, eye mask. I've got the mouth tape, wedge pillow, the weighted blanket, the heating pad, the pillow for my neck, little section oh, away from the face because you always want the curls to go away. There we go and the little scrunchie at the bottom. Then you can take the claw clip out and you let it dry. But I'm thinking this is gonna be a shortcut instead of letting this air dry. But actually this is really nice and comfortable. It's not weird. You could sleep pretty comfortable, comfortably. Cause you know, after 30, you're supposed to sleep on your back. So your face wrinkles will like do that or whatever. I'm working on that. I like to sleep on my side. I'll curled up in the fetal position. Fall asleep to 90 day fiance in the back. Yeah, yeah. Sets the mood for a good day tomorrow. I like that. So we're gonna skip a step and we're going to dry it with this soft bonnet that attaches to the hair dryer. We have a bag in a bag. Oh, wow. This is also $16 on Amazon. And the little gimmick behind this is it's a hood dryer. You know, the ones you sit under the salon. This little thing has a snake that attaches to your hair dryer and you just do this. Also came with this sweat band, elegant, what? Elegante? I'm gonna use this with my sauna because that makes me sweat. That's in my Amazon storefront, by the way. Is it? I don't know. I was trying to make an Amazon storefront. Drying is hard. You have to scan the QR code for the directions. It says to use the dryer on low heat so you don't damage your hair. Oh, okay. You're supposed to dampen this and put it around your hairline. Wait, how am I gonna do that? So it doesn't burn your ears. This goes over here and it's got a little Velcro strap to keep it locked in there. Ooh, this is nice already. In the redneck salon. And then this goes over the hairstyle. Use the drawstring. Oh, wait, excuse me. Secure the chin strap. Look how peaceful she looks. And then we turn this bad boy on for 15 minutes on low. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like inflatable. It's been 18 minutes. Absolutely do need the towel band or whatever that is, the sweat band, because it does kind of burn your ears. I tried it on medium heat and it actually burnt my scalp. So you do have to use low, 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 what is it? It has to be cold, cool air. Still a little damp, so it doesn't, I don't know. That's actually really cool though. It's got these coils inside and it's got all these whole, whole 
It's got all these holes in it. So the airflow is kind of coming out of here, but you do have to keep this like straight. You can't snake this around, it said. I actually really like this. I'm gonna use it again. It's not as nice as a hood dryer because a hood dryer is a little bit quieter. You don't have to hold something in your other hand. I kind of just propped this on my lap, but it did say to hold it out. I mean, 15 minutes though, that's gonna be a little strenuous on the arm. I'd give it an eight out of 10. When you're comparing it to a hood dryer, it's just not, it's just not. But the price, price was good. It's that material that raincoat material, the water wicks off of it, and it kind of just fits back in the bag. That's nice. The ends are still a little wet. So while we wait for that, we're gonna do this. This is a day and night moisturizing lip mask. That's great and all, but the cool part is these are honey jars with the honey, is it a spoon? Dipper. It's 10, it's $10 for two of them. It actually doesn't say which one of these is for day and which one's for night. It just says that there's a day and night mask. We'll just go with, ah, we'll just go with this one. Cherry Blossom. This is the best part. It comes with this little honey wand or whatever those are. Let me wipe this off. Ugh, there's hair on that. Cat hair. The smell is good. It's very artificial. Oh, okay. I guess in my mind it was gonna do this very sexy honey drip like, ooh, it didn't. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, wow. It's like petroleum jelly. Um, maybe this is a nighttime one. Okay, this little thing is crap. It's just something cool to look at. You just need to use your finger. I like the natural look of the lip. Do I like it or am I lazy? Get unready with me look. It doesn't feel so great. Also, I had one of those, uh, what are they called? CO2 facials. I posted a daily update on my Instagram. It's on those little, what are they, highlights? That's where they take this laser and burn your skin off it completely regrows, like they burn it off and it regrows new skin. I filmed it every day on this camera so I could show you over time, like a time lapse and an update, but there's a shorter version on Instagram again if you wanna look at that. The thing with the CO2 laser is it takes about six months to see the results because it rebuilds the collagen. Okay, this must be the daytime one because it's not as Vaseline-y. Just trying to like take care of my skin. Wear a little sunscreen because I just started wearing sunscreen, y'all, on my face, like literally six months ago. Until then, I never wore sunscreen outside. Yeah, that was new to me. Take care of yourself. Uh, look at that. I don't like that lip mask. I can already tell that's gonna make my lips dry. I'm gonna give that a three out of 10. And I'm speaking on short term wear. It feels just like Vaseline. And that's what some of the reviews said. But I've got cat hair everywhere. It was petroleum jelly, agree. This is petroleum jelly, like in a cute jar. Cute little gimmicky thing, give to someone as a gift, like here you go. No. That's not for me. So how you take this thing out is you do that, take out these little ponies, and you just pull this out. Oh, not as flawless. Oh, wow. Look at that. It needs to be refined, but this is sexy for me, and this is a lot better for my hair because my hair is in repair mode. Look at this, we still have breakage. Uh, yeah, 10 out of 10, that was easy. Okay, check me out. Check me out. Get ready with me to go nowhere. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought this product was, how do you put it into words? Okay, join this conversation with me. What I've noticed as living in this space as a creator, whatever you wanna call it, on the internet for over three years, a lot of times creators are paid to say certain things, use certain products, and they're all released at the same time. So for example, there's this nutrition powder that's green. You'll see everybody taking it and they'll say, oh my gosh, this is so good. It's not, I've tried it. It tastes like a dragon's ass, awful. But everybody on the internet will be like, oh my God, this is so good. I can't check my mouth without drinking. I can't watch my own kids without drinking. And you're like, oh my God, should I be drinking that? No. No, we have to remember that sometimes big companies pay all these smaller people to do, say, showcase all these products, which is not wrong. Get that money, girl. If a bunch of people collectively release content saying this is so good at the same time, of course it's going to gain traction or get viral because so many people are doing it at the same time. That's also how some of these songs you'll hear, just like that song would be just okay at 3 a.m. after five drinks and maybe a solid two right now, you know what I mean? But people are getting paid to flip and whip and dip around the internet at the same time, Tuesday, 6 p.m. or something. So of course the song is viral because so many people are using it at the same time. These people get paid, the song blows up, everybody's happy, I guess. Anyway, um, the internet can be crooked, so let's just keep in mind of that. So I thought it was like that, I thought it was that. And it may be, I don't know, but for me this works and I like it. So if it's one of these gimmicks, it worked on me, I'm liking it, I'm gonna use it on my neighbor because she's got shorter hair. She's gonna like that. All right now. Okay, we had a good day. Everything was great except for the lip mask. I appreciate you being here. Make sure you have a fantastic week. You deserve it, okay? Ignore 
ignore everyone. Something's going on in the stars, y'all. It's like that Mercury Gatorade retrograde, okay? Shh, y'all need to slow down your driving, stop your arguing, and just Ignorance is bliss. I use that all the time because I am kind of like low key dumb, but seriously, ignorance, is, I don't know anything about anything. You, you can't mess up my bubble. Anyway, have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time for something cool. Something.